In this video, we'll write the atomic orbital diagram for selenium, SE. The first thing we do before we write the atomic orbital diagram, we have to write the electron configuration for selenium. So selenium, that has 34 protons. That's its atomic number. In protons, that equals the number of electrons for neutral elements. Everything listed on the periodic table, it's listed as neutral. So we have 34 electrons, and selenium is right here. And we'll use this pattern here on the periodic table until we get to selenium and we've used all 34 of those electrons. So we start out 1s1, 1s2, that's full second energy level, 2s1, 2s2. Then we go to the 2p, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. p holds up to 6, so 2p6. Third energy level, 3s2, 3p6. Fourth energy level, 4s2. And then for that d, d holds up to 10, so we have 3d10. Right now we've used 30 of our electrons. 4p1, 2, 3, and there's selenium. 4p4, and we've used all the electrons. If you count these up, that adds up to 34. So we can use the electron configuration to write the atomic orbital diagram for selenium. So both the electron configuration and the atomic orbital diagram, we're just trying to show where the electrons are around the nucleus of the selenium atom. Think of the nucleus as, say, down here, and these are energy levels around it, kind of like shells. So we'll start with 1s2. We put them here, opposite directions, 2s2. 2p6, we spread them out and then pair them up. 3s2, 3p6, 4s2, and then when we get to the 3d, that's 3d10, spread them out and pair them up. And we have 4p4, so spread them out, and then we pair that up there, and we're done. This is the atomic orbital diagram for selenium. Again, both of these representations, we're just trying to show where the electrons are around the nucleus of the selenium atom. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.